Good morning, everyone. So do you know what? I don't know why I said good morning because you could be watching this in the evening or night or whenever, but hi, wherever you are in the world. Today's video is going to be all on the skincare. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. Um, I've just been trialing and testing a load of products for you guys. I wanted to now show you for my skin. Now, I get a lot of questions on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, please do. It's at Hands and Loose and my TikTok, um, which is also the same about my skin and some of my favorite products that I recommend. So I've put together a little routine. Now you don't have to be as extensive as I am, um, but I'm trying to base it on a lot of, this is more my daytime routine. So if you want to see my nighttime routine, please let me know in the comments. But I wanted to put together some, some affordable and some more higher end products, a mixture of both. So you guys get an even just in case there are some products you can, you do want that's in your budget and some that maybe not. And you can just, I don't know, just in general, I wanted to fit for both categories so yeah these this is very much my brightening morning routine protecting antioxidants um renewal all of that good stuff from cleansers all the way up to spf now i'm only going to be showing you one product from each section if you'd like me to do skincare products that i recommend i can do like a list of them i will happy to do that in another video but i wanted you to sh wanted to show you my go-to routine that i've been using daily for let's say give or take the past month to two months. Now I've been using this religiously every morning. I yes, my job is all about testing and trying new products, but I found a routine that works for me. I think a lot of you can probably see on my skin. My skin is relatively clear. I have got a few blemishes from my hormonal time of the month, but my even my skin now, my skin hasn't had any cleansers or anything on this is my morning skin so this is how i've woken up in the morning i've just quickly gotten dressed and you can see even though i've got my lights on me my skin is very radiant still it's like it's not dry or anything these routines have been massively helping my skin now a lot of you i think you can see from my previous videos as well i used to have really dull eye bags i used to have quite out there eye bags like if you look down i still have them from tiredness but my eyes used to be insanely red i used to look very tired 24 7 i had a lot of you ask me Hannah are you okay what's going on these products here have been really helping um and sometimes it's finding about the right balance of stuff as well like I see a lot of people ask me in their in my dms Hannah I'm using niacinamide retinol salicylic acid glycolic acid all in the same day and I'm like whoa obviously I am not a dermatologist I'm studying to be one but I am not a dermatologist but I can tell you from the research that I've had, you don't need to be putting that many products on your skin every day. Maybe use retinol three to five times a week, salicylic acid in the evenings, you like you all your harsher ingredients in the evenings and in the day you want to protect vitamin C, oxidants, vitamin E, vitamin C, and niacinamide if you have oily skin. So yeah, I know that's a whole lot of information I've just given you, but let's get straight into the um, actual routine. This is not going to be a voiceover because I want to talk to you through each of the products. So beginning off, I love to cleanse in the morning now it's a choice i know a lot of people don't cleanse in the morning i personally can't i can't not cleanse in the morning i know i cleanse at night and then put all my stuff on but i want to make sure that my skin is fresh and clean to then put these products on and it sort of makes sure that my skin is prepped for those products as well rather than just layering on top of my night kite nighttime products even though they've already been absorbed into the skin. So the cleanser that I've been using in the mornings, I've really been loving this, and I can also use this in the evening, is the Elemis Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. Um, and Elemis, for me, is a brand I do recommend when it comes to their cleansers. I haven't tried many of their other products, but their cleansing balm, the Pro Collagen, and this cleanser right here are amazing. Now, this is anti-aging. Now, I know I'm only 21, I'm turning 22, the quicker you start with your anti-aging process, the better the results are going to be. Um, so it's a gentle cleanser, I think, anyway. It's got it's packed with minerals um, and really hydrating quality. So if you've got dry skin, this might be for you. But I like to pair it sometimes, not all the time, with the Foreo the face halo this is the exfoliating one it comes in a pack of three now i use this around the parts where i have eczema if you have dry skin the exfoliating pad is really good i have a lot of um, dry skin around my mouth area on my eyes sometimes around the perimeters of my face because obviously they get drier a lot quicker so i am just going to quickly wet my face and then we'll start using the cleanser as i use it 
So I'm just going to take literally maybe a pump of this cleanser. Um, it's a gel cleanser, as you can see, and I wet my face. And I would say my bit, if you wouldn't, if you'd like me to do um, like videos on skincare tips and that, again, let me know in the description. But I just go in with this. I like to cleanse for around a minute. Sometimes in the morning, I don't cleanse for as long as a minute. But in the evening time, especially when I've worn SPF all day and or I've worn makeup, um, Cleansing for at least a minute is a massive game changer. I would 100% recommend. So if you're not cleansing for a minute, like don't expect to just go one, two, three. And then because you've used the cleanser, like it's doing it what it's meant to be doing. It's probably not going to be doing that. So just be very aware of that. So I just like to go and cleanse. I just, everyone knows the gist of this kind of cleanse anyway. And sometimes in the morning, I'll then use the face halo to wash all it all of it off so now taking my face halo i'm just gonna rinse the rest of this off now be gentle because this is the exfoliating one but if you do have the normal ones which i also have then use those but i just like to gently take this over the top of course you could just wash it off with water but for the sake of the video i do like to use these um because it has this added property of getting rid of any other dirt and things like that and of course you're going to want to exfoliate um not as much as possible but when need be um but i use acids to exfoliate but what i then do is i'll just go around the mouth area because i tend to have a little bit of eczema and i'll just exfoliate any of that dry skin not going too harsh because it will obviously irritate it but just around the perimeters and on my lips because this is a really good lip exfoliator as well so now you can leave the skin at work like this i just prefer to just dampen it or like make it as not as wet so i'll just go over a towel ever so slightly and just pat my skin but because i'm going to be talking my skin will dry out anyway but now we're going to move on to toner or exfoliator now toner is something that's very hit and miss if you don't want to use a toner you do not have to and um, none of these products are really much necessary in terms of if you're just happy with washing your face and then putting a moisturizer on and then the spf that's absolutely fine that's perfect for you if that works but i like to treat my skin and make sure that my skin is having the best possible treatment because obviously it's my skin i want to take care of it so a lot of people get really scared when it comes to acids glycolic acid lactic acid salicylic acid now i would recommend if you're looking to use glycolic acid and salicylic acid in high concentrates you might want to use it in the evening now i this is one product that i've actually been using in the day because it's meant for the daily it's like a daily um exfoliant for my sensitive angels if you've not heard of the brand ren skincare i would 100 recommend if you have sensitive skin every product that they have i'm sure caters for sensitive skin it's like a sensitive skin brand but you can obviously use it on normal skin oily skin dry skin now this one holy grail product i've shown for a near enough over a year now um since i've been working with them this video none of this video is sponsored or anything like that but i do have a coupon code where you can save some money and it is the ren daily aha or steady ready ready steady glow it daily aha tonic it's amazing it contains willow bark to encourage cell renewal lactic acid to gently exfoliate and azelaic acid to um to brighten skin now azelaic acid has also amazing properties when it comes to dark spots and um, acne scars and that's this product is amazing it's very gentle but will give you that tingly feel so it's like that little spa treatment it's so nice and i will say i will be using a vitamin c afterwards and i am sure that that is okay to use i know i normally preach about don't use an acids with salicylic acid um, don't use acids with like vitamin c but there are some um concoctions that they do in their labs that are able to actually allow that but this is a tonic that i would 100 recommend for all skin types especially if you're sensitive and you worry about um it the reaction sort of things i just like to go over mainly around my pore areas as well but this is so so lovely it's so gentle but it gives you that lovely tingling feeling it's not burning or anything like that it's so so nice on the skin and this is one of those products that i have seen over the past year has really brightened my skin has made sure that throughout the day um my skin is just in the best condition that it can be in i don't use this daily i may use it every other day um or if i know that that night i'm going to be using salicylic acid i won't use it in the morning or something like that just because i don't want to overpower my skin Sometimes I want to let my skin just be my skin rather than constantly being treated by products. 
but this is such a good one now you can save 30 percent off up until black friday with this with the code hannah 30 but after black friday you can save 20 percent with the code hannah 20 so i'll put that on the screen but ren is one of those brands their jelly cleansers all of their cleansers are literally amazing um but yeah this is such a good product i love it so 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 much i could literally sit here and preach about it doctors dermatologists absolutely love this product so yeah if you are looking for a new exfoliant try the ren ready steady glow and let me know your thoughts now moving on to eye cream this is something i wanted to give like a whole two hour video to because it's so good um this is the b skin now i did do an ad with them this part of the video is not sponsored but i love these products i really do there's another product from b skin in this routine they are one of those kind of brands for me that one they say this is the product this is what's going to do that is what it's going to do now i have been using an alternative to this that's a little bit more expensive but pr personally i find that the cheaper version works better so we have here the b skin hydrate brightening eye cream i have mentioned this on my instagram it is amazing it has caffeine and niacinamide niacinamide is great for the under eyes as well caffeine also to give that extra boost um to sort of wake the eye up but i it's just it just brightens for me. I have used to have the really dull under eyes and it used to drain me because I thought I want to not wear makeup every day, but I was really worried because my under eyes look really dull. This one absolutely came to the rescue. Now we also have the Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. This is really, really lovely. Um, it's really nice again, it's expensive, but if you want a cheaper alternative, this is absolutely amazing. It's vegan and cruelty free. I believe most of these products are or near enough all of them are vegan and cruelty free so i just like to take the tiniest amount you literally don't need a lot at all um and obviously go over your ring finger and just take this under the eye i would say avoid using the acids underneath your eye because your area underneath your eye is so thin um you don't want to irritate or anything like that but i'll just pat it in and sometimes i might take it on top of the lid but because i have eczema i like to put my aveeno cream under there which i'll do in a second off camera because it's Unless you guys want me to do an eczema video, then I'm more than happy to. But that's not what the video is on. I like to blend this in with my finger. So, so lovely. It's a nice little base prep for the makeup as well if you put, put it in concealer on. So, eyes are done. Now serum. So, I have let, obviously, that toner really sink into the skin. This brand is a new one. I've never tried their products up until these two products that I've tried. Or this product that I've tried, sorry. They sent me two products and I've tried them both. This is a new brand, like I said, but this is a treatment moisturizer kind of thing. But I use it as a serum because then I put a normal moisturizer over the top. But this is so good. It's so good. It honestly noticeably does just magic to my skin. So Allies of Skin have launched a peptides and antioxidant firming daily treatment. So it's a multitasker for worn out skin, erases signs of stress and dullness and gives you a youthful glow. That definitely does. Um, so it, I'm sure it contains seven brighteners, nine antioxidants, four peptides. Peptides, antioxidants and brighteners are what you need for your skin, especially if you're wanting to avoid anti-aging and you want to protect because antioxidants are going to be your best friend. So I just like to take a pump of this. I believe this contains things like vitamin C and stuff. I can't exactly remember, but I'll link all the products. And I just like to take this as you usually would as a serum i'm not going to be one of those people though that are going to be like oh my god you need to do this and you need to do that like i am very much into that but again on a daily basis for everyone that's not massively into skincare unless you want to do the whole experience it's just it's not that necessary like if you're just making sure that when you're not you're not doing that like but these these products are so nice like, look at the glow i've already got on my skin it's so good i love this my skin has honestly never felt as smooth and obviously i have more other techniques that i do like dermaplaning and things like that but my morning routine really sets me up for like a good makeup day a good skin day and then in the evening when i then to go and treat for like blemishes or pores and things like that it's just oh i love it like if i just show you up close and personal of course my skin's got texture and things like that but it's just so lovely it's just so 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 lovely i really really like this treatment i've been using it daily since i got it and i haven't had it long like i wouldn't say i've had it months but it's been so nice since i've had it highly highly recommend this um definitely something if you want to try a vitamin c product or you want to try some antioxidants for the day this is a great one moving on to moisturizer so again i spoke about b skincare a while ago now this is something 
oh, changed the game when it came to moisturizers for me honestly love this i'm very much into the anti-aging program right now like i'm very much into wanting to make sure my skin is as useful as possible sorting out texture fine lines because those things they matter because you might be always treating acne and making sure that your skin's clear but are you treating it to make sure it doesn't it helps to prevent premature aging those things also go hand in hand so we have the age defined intense moisturizing daily cream if you have dry skin if you have oily skin if you have normal combination skin this is a wowza of a product highly recommend the whole b skin range is beautiful they have a brightening serum that contains vitamin c and vitamin e it's a powerhouse of a product um yeah so i just like to take a fair decent amount of moisturizer not too too much because this it's not a thick moisturizer and it's not thin it's normally in the middle but i use this as night as well i use this at night as well if i'm using retinol this is so good but it contains peptides i believe um it's really just great at being that anti-aging moisturizer and if you want a moisturizer to just lock in all of the products this does this and it's just so good it's so 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 good on my skin i get very skeptical about i know this is a long video but i get very skeptical about going outside in my makeup sometimes even in the most minimal of makeup just because my skin doesn't always take to it i don't know if i'm the only person that will look in a mirror like here or like this setup and it'll look great and you go outside and it's just wowza and it just feels like a lot but this routine has really helped me to make sure that my skin is just prepped and it's loving the makeup and it's it just i could go out like this and i'd feel totally confident doing so so yeah so that's the moisturizer practically we're bare, like we're practically done with the skincare routine now we have two last products one's an spf and one's a lip balm i have been loving this now i've only actually had it two days and i know that sounds a bit like han what's going on here it's two days but with me i have dry ass lips if something's gonna work it will work there and then and this does this is a summer friday's litter lit litter lip butter balm in the shade vanilla they have it in a trio but i don't know if you can see the actual applicator like it's designed to actually fit the lip and it does and you just apply it it's amazing i don't want to talk too much about this because it's just a lip balm but oh no to me it's not just a lip balm this is a lifesaver i went out yesterday and wore it in my makeup and and it just i swear to god I remember taking the journey out and I was like, okay, cool, I've got this lip balm on my lips. And normally I have to top up loads. Didn't top up once. And then I went home at like 6, 7 p.m. the next that day and it was still on my lips. I was like, hold on. My lips don't feel dry. They don't feel chappy, chappy. They don't feel cracked or anything like that. This is such a good lip balm. And it tops as a really nice gloss if you've got like lip liner on. So yeah. Now, lastly, we're going to talk SPF. Now, I have loads of SPF recommendations. If you want me to give you a more cheaper alternative, you can. However, I'm going to be wearing a little bit of makeup today and I get really worried. I think I can't be the only one saying this. I do get a little bit worried when I wear makeup if it's going to suit the SPF because sometimes it can go wrong. Sometimes it can go wrong. However, this bad boy right here from Charlotte Tilbury is the Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer for SPF. It's got SPF 50 in this. I trust this with my life. Um, it contains SPF 50. I love that. It doesn't leave any white cast. There's no smell. There's no weird texture. It's perfect. And the fact that it's a primer, it means it's meant to work with makeup. So I trust it with my makeup. Do you know what I'm saying? I know that sounds really confusing, but it's so good. Love this. I know Charlotte Tilbury products can be really expensive. I have my own review on this, but I take a fair decent amount. Obviously, you don't want to pack on too, too much because then it can start to feel a little bit heavy. But it doesn't leave a white cast, as you can see. So good on the skin. It blurs your pores. Like, for women, when I put makeup on, this does more than just being an SPF. It's pore blurring. So I really work this into the pores as well. You want to work this into the skin as much as possible. Don't forget your ears. And obviously, then go in with an SPF for your neck. Um, and, like, behind your neck and all the rest of your body parts that are on show. So, yeah, I love this. It looks really glowy but not dewy or oily and it will really work into the skin it doesn't have an spf smell uh, it's like a slightly there but it works into the skin and it's gone it's so good i think i did a whole video on this i believe and it's just oh i love it so 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 good highly recommend um but yeah that is my skin all prepped for the day um yeah i'll come up and show close and up up close and personal what my skin looks like but i just love this so much like this routine 
it's like I get excited when I wake up in the morning. I get excited to use this routine because it's so good. Um, but yeah, I am more than happy to do a nighttime routine if you'd like to see that. If you have more acne skin or if you like want to know how to lay retinols and things like that, let me know in the comments. But this is what my skin looks like. It's super ready for makeup. It's just... Of course, I have normal, my normal skin problems. Like I might still have puffy eyes because it's in the morning. But my skin is all nice and dewy and just prepped. It's so like plump and ready for the day. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's everything of how my skin is looking. I don't really have anything else really to say. But I'm more than happy to just go out like this. I sometimes do use this SPF if I'm not wearing makeup because I know it's still going to protect me even with or without makeup on. So yeah. That is everything. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I'll try my best. If not, please message me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to respond on there. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more every daily routine skincare and stuff, please follow me on Instagram and my TikTok because I do do routines for different types of skin types. But if you want a more in-depth one, particularly about your skin and things like that, let me know and I'm more than happy to make them for you. So thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.